In this year 2020, I achieved something big. Well, not to everyone, but it's pretty big to me. I start reviewing how I make it, and I realize there is nothing to do with my new year resolution. Instead, it is something else that helped me automatically achieve it. So, if you want to know the secrets, please hit the subscribe button and keep on watching. Hi, I'm Kai Whenever the new years come, I used to make a list of new year resolution. I usually feel very motivated at the beginning of the years. But after two weeks, I think you know what happened next. I end up back to my normal routines and forget everything about the new year resolution. It happens to me every single year. So I ask myself, what's the point of new year resolution if I'm probably going to give up? We often make a new year resolution because of the spirit of celebrations. We want a new experience in the new year. Be honest, we not really want a real change to ourselves. And most of the time, our new year resolution only show us the end results. For example, like getting a good grade, saving money to buy a house. And this resolution cannot show any small incremental progress. We feel discouraged very easily because what we could do every single day is so far away from our giant goal. Will it better to make a smaller new year resolution? Well, 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 the point is, no matter how you set up your new year resolution, it will come to an end. Like I wish that I could reach 100 subscribers this year. After I reach this goal, I become more lazy afterward. No matter how big or how small your new year resolution are, they don't have the continuity to keep you motivating in the rest of the year. So how can we step our ways into a better 2021? The key is to convert new year resolution into daily habits. We should all focus on the small things that we can do every single day. In this year 2020, I achieved something big to myself. And I totally amazed by the power of habit. I rent gold in a game called Lead of Legend. For those of you who don't know this game, my current ranking indicates that I'm the top 30% amongst hundreds million players around the world. Pretty impressive, right? I was a very trash player in any game. I cannot even pass Mario Bros. Stage 1 without dying. I always ran very bottom in the League of Legends. So how could I climb from the bottom to the top 30% amongst 100 million players? What I did is just to play this game every single day for 2 hours. I may play more games in the holiday, but in average, I only play 2 hours every day. But in this whole process, I don't even remember I make a new year resolution that's saying I want to rent gold at all. I just enjoy the game so much. Sometimes I even forget about my ranking. <laughs> I simply want to play the game. It doesn't matter whether the resolution exists or not. I will still keep playing it because I enjoy the process more than the end result. It helped me develop a habit, or you could say it is an addiction in my brain. I feel very uncomfortable if I not play this game for one day. Just imagine that you are not allowed to scroll your phone for one day or you cannot watch YouTube for a few days. How could that feel? I bet that you will feel very uncomfortable too. And that means you form a habit too and you're not even aware of it. Now whenever I'm working, my finger will automatically rest on the QWER key which are the skill shot key in League of Legends. Even I have a very busy day, I still would open the game and just watch others play. My brain automatically drive me towards the goal and I not even notice that. That's the powers of habit. How can we develop a habit? 
The key is to enjoy the process, never being harsh on yourself. Our target is to make ourselves addicted to what we are doing. If we not enjoy it, we probably will quit very soon, not even talk about addicted to it. Every day, once you wake up, try to set up mini and easy tasks for yourself. After finishing them, reward yourself. Always remember you have to make yourself enjoy the process. So the tasks have to be super easy to do and super fun to do. Better make yourself smile after reading the task. For example, if your target is to work out 30 minutes a day, change it into 1 minute a day. What? 1 minute a day? Isn't that too easy? If you're smiling right now because you think that is too easy, you are in the right direction. We need to lower the resistance of our positive habit. So even you're exhausted after working, you still can tell yourself, come on, it's just one minute, you can do it. Never lie yourselves by telling, oh, I pretend to do one minute and I actually, my heart wants to do 30 minutes exercise. Never put any pressure on yourself. We want to focus on small changes every day. Remind ourselves Rome wasn't built in one day. Great things take time. Any big accomplishments is come from doing small things consistently. So please reward yourself, compliment yourself once you finish your daily task. You are now one step closer in developing your habits. Lastly, I want to share three daily habits that may help you create a happier life and become a better person. The first habit is to enjoy the small little things in our life. We always want to accomplish a lot of things. But have you ever stopped a moment and appreciate what you already had? We can breathe freely. We have a healthy body that allow us to do anything we want. We have a very comfy place to sleep. We have computers, smartphones, beautiful scenery. Why we still want to achieve something that we don't have and create unnecessary stress. We always thought that once we own something, once we achieve something, we will become happier. But the answer is no. You will never satisfy until you learn to appreciate what you already had. So please take a look at your surrounding. Look at your hands and legs. Your whole body is so beautiful. Think about your favorite persons, your families and friends who love you. No one can replace you in their heart. Does these little things bring you smile? The second habit is to do something nice to someone every day. We all heard of giving is more happy than receiving. Because our brains will release chemistry that make us happy if we help someone. You don't have to do something big. It could be simple things like giving a small YouTuber like and subscribe. Compliment someone, help your families do housework. You also can do something good to the animals and the earth. Spend some more time with your pets and recycle your garbage. If you can do this every day, you can gain happiness every day. The last habit is that you must do it, especially if you are my subscriber, is to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you cannot feel others is loving you. Ask yourself, how can you love yourself more? You deserve to be loved. Appreciate yourself more. At the end of the day, before going to the bed, look at the mirror and say, it, thank you. You are awesome and I love you. Give yourself a big hug. Especially as we all gone through a rough year 2020, we all deserve to be treated. In 2021, without the pressure brought from the New Year's resolutions, I wish all of you could truly enjoy all the little things that mattered in your life and build up a 
positive habits. Comment down below, tell me what kind of habit you are going to create this year. Remember, great things take time. Be patient and stay happy. You can achieve more than you thought. Thanks for watching and I wish all of you have a happy new year. And don't forget to love yourself, love your day. And I will see you guys someday. Bye.